I've recently been playing with the idea of building an app that will allow you all to scan, color, and share your artwork with me and your friends. Problem is, developing a custom app takes a lot of time and, you know, Good news is that I've been saving up for quite a while, but you can also help out by getting all your friends and classmates to join me by subscribing and tuning in each day. I hope to launch this by holiday this year as a free downloadable app, and I guarantee you'll love it. So until then, let's dive into this lesson on how to draw the white crow from Brawl Stars. Let's get started in the center of our page with the mouth. So we start right in the middle, start with a point. Now from here, I want to curve up and then down towards the left side. I'm going to go up and then just bend that down. Let's go back to the center and do the same thing on the right. Going up and then bending that down. And then we'll move out to the side and draw the top edge of the beak. From the corner of the mouth, we're going to step out and draw a half oval. Go all the way up towards the top. Just round this out and then come down on the right. Let's bump out the side of the beak. Starting back on the left, go out, pull that in. Do the same thing on the right side. And then we'll connect the sides with a slight curve that goes up in the middle. So let's start back on the left, then go up and in, flatten this off, and then come down on the right. And we'll move all the way up to the top and draw in the nostrils. We're going to start on the side of the beak and draw an oval. Coming down, up, and then back out. Let's line this up on the right side, going up, down, and then back up. And then we'll add that X in the center of the beak. Let's start on the left side on the inside of the nostril. Angle down and in towards the middle. Go up and out towards the right. Now we're going to draw on the bottom edge. Starting back on the left, it's going to taper this. So we're coming in on both sides. And then we'll bend the bottom of the X. Starting back on the left, go out and then bend that down. And then we'll taper this back up and in towards the center. Now we move out to the side and draw on the eyes. From the left side of the beak, we're going to step out and draw a straight angled line. Going up and out. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing. Going up and out. Now we're going to connect the outside to the inside of the eye with a half oval. We're going to create a point along the bottom. So start on the left, just going to round this out and come down to right about there and do the same thing on the right. Going out, down, and then in. Let's add that point. Starting back on the left, come down with a straight line, and then we'll angle that up and in. And then we'll continue that oval going up towards the inside of the eye. We'll curve in and then up. Let's pull the pupils towards the inside of the eye. We're going to start halfway along the top of the eyelid and draw a half oval. We're going to come down, round this out, and then just pull that up towards the inside corner. And we'll fill the pupils in black. Now let's move up and draw on the eyebrows. We're going to start from the inside corner of the eye, curve up, and then bend that out. Go to the right and do the same thing. And then we'll curl up the inside of the brow, starting back on the left, curve in, and then up with a short line. Let's round up the outside of the eyebrow, starting back on the left, curve up and in. And then we'll connect the outside to the inside with that same curve. Coming in and then bending that down. Let's fill the eyebrows in black.
Now with the eyebrows in place, let's close off the top of the head. We're gonna start from the left side. We're gonna step down. It's gonna curve up and then in towards the middle. And then we'll add some hair. From here, it's gonna curve up towards the top. Let's taper that back down so it gets a little bit wider as you come down towards the top of the head. And we'll add one more point in behind. So halfway along this curve, let's go out and up with a short line. Go out and down towards the top of the head. And curve the head going out and then down in behind the eyebrow. Let's move down and draw on the side of the head. From the outside corner of the eyebrow, we're gonna step in, curve the head going out around the eye and then down towards the cheek. And then we'll curl the fur around the cheek, starting back on the left, curve down, and then out towards the sides. Let's go back to the left side and close off the bottom of the head. We start out here, just gonna curve down underneath the beak, round up the chin, and then go up on the right. Now with the head in place, let's move to the center and draw on the zipper. We're gonna start right in the middle, start with a short line going across the center, Come down the sides, and then we'll close off the bottom. And then we'll add the zipper pull, starting halfway along this line, going out towards the sides. Come all the way down towards the bottom of the zipper pull, and then we'll close off the bottom. Let's add a small rectangle along the bottom, starting on the left, go across. Now we're going to go up with a short line and then close off the top. Let's go up to the top of the zipper. Starting on the left, we're going to curve up and then out on both sides. And then from the top corner of the zipper pull, we're going to go out and then bend that up underneath the head. Let's draw the sides of the body. We're gonna start on the left side, just underneath the collar. We're gonna step down, curve the body going out, and then down towards the hip. Let's line this up on the right, going out and down towards the same height. And then we'll close off the bottom. On the left, come down the middle, round this out, and then go up. And then we'll add the zipper along the bottom, leaving a gap in the center. Go to the left side, draw a straight line coming down toward the bottom. Go over towards the right, and draw another line. And then we'll add the teeth of the zipper, starting from the top, draw a short line going across, and then repeat this all the way down toward the bottom. Let's add the pockets on the side. From the left hip, we step up, draw a straight angle line going up and in, line this up on the right side. Let's flatten off the inside, just going up and out with a short line, and then angle back down and out toward the side of the body. Now we're gonna continue working down with the legs. In the center, let's step down, draw a curve from left to right, going up and then down. And then leaving a small gap in the center, let's go to the left side, curve the leg going out and then down towards the heel, move over towards the right, going out and then down towards the same height. Now we're gonna round out the bottom of the feet. Starting from the heel, let's curve the foot, coming down and then up towards the toe. And then from the toe, we're gonna to round out the top of the foot. Start out here, it's gonna curve up, and then just bend that down. And we'll move back up to the hips and draw the outside of the leg. Let's start from the left hip. Just gonna curve the leg going out, and then down on top of the foot. Let's draw the edge of the boot cup. Starting from the top of the foot, we're gonna step up, Starting from the outside, we'll curve down and then back up. Line this up on the right and do the same thing. And now we'll move back up and draw on the arms. We're gonna start halfway down the side of the body. So starting right here, curve the arm going out and then down towards the wrist. Line this up on the right, going out and down. Now we wanna draw the hands in a fist. So we're gonna start with the thumbs. Start from the wrist, we'll draw a small half circle. Coming in and then back out. At the end of the thumb, we'll add a bracket. And then we'll curl three fingers on either side. Starting from the bottom of the thumb, come down, just 
pull that up around the bracket, and then we'll add two more fingers. Stepping down, curve down, and then up. And then from the side, curve out, then the arm coming up, and then in behind the collar. And now we're gonna add a thick cuff on either side. Start from the top of the thumb, just curve up and then down. And then we'll step up and draw that same curve, going up and then in on both sides. And that's pretty much it. There's the White Crow from Brawl Stars. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your request in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.